Okay, we're now on page 11 and looking at number 36, rhythm time. This is a clap and count line, so we're going to clap and count through this rhythm. Here we go. One, two, clap and count with me. One, two, one, hold, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, hold, one, two, one, hold, two. And you can keep going back and clapping and counting with me on that. If you'll notice in the sixth to seventh measure, there's a quarter note that's tied across the bar line. So if we look at measures six and seven, we would count that one, two, and then the tie is hold over to one in measure seven, then two. So make sure we get that counting correct. Okay, we've already gone over the counting for number 36. So let's look at Number two here where it says play on the note C. C is in sixth position. Sounds like this. Let's play that note together. C. All right, let's do number 36. Playing C for every note. One, two, here we go. not do the repeat. Remember that tie that crosses the bar line just adds those two notes together. Beat two across to beat one. Okay, on line 37 we have a new note. So let's look up at the top of the page in the little green box at the note A. It's on the bottom space of the staff. It's in second position which is about two fingers out past the sleeve of the slide at the top. That A sounds like this. Play that with me. Ready? Now. You can see how far I've got the slide out. It may be a little different on different instruments because of the length of the sleeve, but it's about that spot for everyone. Now let's go over number 37, four, four measures at the time, fingering the notes. Here we go. First we have B flat, B flat, A natural in second, B flat, C, D, rest. And we have that slur between first and sixth position. It means we have to move the slide very quickly. So let's play that together, first four measures. One, two, here we go. <laughs> So now let's look at the last four measures of 37. Say in finger, here we go. E flat, D, C, B flat, hold, A natural in second, then B flat, hold. Notice they're not marking the flat signs next to the B's or E's any longer because we have that moved into the beginning for a key signature. So those two flats at the beginning of the line tell us that every note named B and every note named E in the entire song is flat. So we don't have to keep writing them next to every note. So let's play those last four measures together. Here we go. One, two, ready to begin. Okay, we're not going to repeat as we do these lines just for the sake of time. So now we're going to play all the way through. So Finger along with me, say the note names a few times, keep backing the video up and playing along. Here we go. One, two, thirty-seven. All right. So now keep backing that up and going over it until we're comfortable with that second position A. Okay, we're looking at 38, sight reading challenge, shoe fly. Let's look at the first four measures of this. Let's say in finger, here we go. D, B flat, hold, C, D, E flat, C, hold. Remember, we know those are B flats and E flats because at the very beginning of the line, it shows you those two flat signs. The flat sign on the B line that tells us that all Bs are flat and the flat sign on the E space that tells us that every E is flat. 
So let's play those first four measures together. Here we go. One, two, here we go. All right, so let's look at the next four, four measures of that first line of 38. Let's say in finger, we have our new note here again. So we have C, A, hold, B flat, C, D, B flat, hold. Again, our B flats are told to us by the key signature. Let's play those two me those four measures at the end of the first line. One, two, here we go. All right. Now let's on the second line. The first four measures of the second line are the same as the first four measures on the first line, so we don't need to go over those again. So let's look at the last four measures of the second line. Let's say in finger. Ready? Here we go. F, 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 E flat, D, C, B flat. And we know it's E flat and B flat because of the key signature. So let's play those last four measures. One, two, here we go. Now we're going to play all the way through 38. You probably want to finger along a couple of times with me playing and then keep backing the video up and then play with me several times. Here we go. One, two, breathe. Keep backing that up and repeating it, going over it, saying the notes and fingering, and playing along. Okay, this is number 39, letter A. First, we're looking at our key signature again. It tells us that every B is flat and every E is flat in the whole piece. So let's finger and say the first four measures. Notice the second measure has that measure repeat. So that means we just play what we had in the first measure again for that measure. So let's say and finger four measures. Ready? Now. D, F, 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 D, F, 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 G, E flat, C, E flat, E flat, D, D, hold. Now, we're going to play that together. Our slurs, if we go D to F, so we can't, we can't do that, we have to legato tone. But G to E flat, we're going down and coming up, so we can slur that. E flat to D, we can't slur. Does it work? We have to legato come. So let's play that together, slurring that G to E flat and legato tonguing the others. Here we go. One, two, begin now. look at the last four measures of part A. Let's finger and say the note names. Ready? Here we go. D, F, 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 repeat. F, 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 G, slur to E flat, C, A, B flat, hold, hold, rest. So that dotted half note gets two, that half note gets two counts. The quarter note gets one. It's tied together so that half note tied to the quarter note gets three beats of sound. So let's play those last four measures together, making sure we slur the G to E flat. Here we go. One, two, ready. Okay, now that we have worked on this in the A part in sections, we can play all the way through. Remember the percent sign is a measure repeat, which means to play the previous measure again. And we have one natural slur here from G to E flat that we can play as a slur. We have to legato tongue the other notes. Here we go. One, two, begin. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, you can keep backing that up and playing through it, making sure we're slurring that G to E flat and legato tonguing all the other slurs that are marked in part A. Okay, let's look at part B of 39. Again, in our key signature at the beginning, we have a B flat and an E flat, which tells us that every note that is B or every note that is E is played B flat or E flat. So we don't have to remark those flats constantly. So let's say and finger the first four measures. Observe the measure repeat. Here we go. B flat, D, 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 B flat, D, 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 E flat, C, A, C, C, B flat, B flat, hold. Now, in the first measure, we're going higher on the slur and our slide is going down, so that means we can slur B flat to D. In the third measure, we have E flat slurring down to C and the slide is going out, which means we can't slur. But C coming up to B flat with the note going down, we can slur the C to B flat. So it's slurred in the first measure. In the third measure, the E flat to the C. Can't do it. Legato tongue. In the fourth measure. With a quick slide, we can slur that. So let's play that together. Ready? Here we go. One, two, first four, now. And let's look at the last four measures. So the first two measures, this is the same. So in the first measure, in measure five, we still have the B flat to D natural slur that we can do. In measure seven, we have a slur from E flat to C, which we can't slur. We have to tongue that and then nothing else. So let's say and finger the last four. Ready? Now, B flat, D, 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 B flat, D, 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 E flat, C, A natural, A natural, B flat, hold, hold, rest. Okay, let's play those four measures. Ready? Here we go. Two, one, two, ready, begin. <laughs> Okay, now we're ready to go all the way through part B, making sure the B flat to D that we're slurring and the C to B flat we're slurring and we're legato tonguing the other notes that are marked slur. Here we go. One, two, begin. <laughs> Okay, you can keep repeating this and playing along, fingering along as well. Once you're comfortable with both parts A and B, then you can play the recording of A while you play part B, or play the recording of B while you play part A and actually play the duet with the recording. Okay, this is line 40, Sanserini. This is normally a test item, so we want to be careful and practice every bit of this and do it very carefully so that we're ready for our test. In the beginning of this, it also has a key signature. It tells us on the first flat we see is on the second line, which tells us that all Bs are flat. The second flat sign we see is on the third space, which tells us that all Es are flat. So all of our Bs are first position, and all of our Es are in third position, B flat and E flat. So we're going to take eight measures of this, since there's only two beats to the measure. So let's say and finger the first eight measures. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Now. F, hold, D, E flat, F, hold, hold, F, G, F, E flat, D, F, hold, E flat, hold. All right, now, in measure two, three to measure four, we have a, a half note tied to a quarter note. It starts in measure three and ends in measure four. It's still three beats. It's beat three and four and beat one together. We, so we don't retongue the F that's under the, the tie mark. In measure five, we have a G to F slur, so we're coming up with the slide and the note is going down, so we can actually slur that one. Just by moving the slide quickly. 
So let's play those four measures together. Here we go. One, two, begin. <sighs> Now let's look at the last four measures. Let's say in finger. Ready? Here we go. E flat, hold. C, D. E flat, hold, hold. E flat, F. E flat, C. A natural, B flat, hold, hold, rest. So in this, it shows us that those half notes can't tie across to another note in another measure. So ties can always cross bar lines. We have no natural slurs here because our slur from F to E is going the same direction. So we have to tongue it. We can't smear it out. So let's play those last four measures together. Here we go. One, two, and... Now we're ready to go all the way through this. I would advise you to work on these sections, these eight measure sections, and, and finger and say and play several times before you go to the whole thing. So let's play together all the way through 40. Two, here we go. <laughs> Okay, we won't do the repeat. So you can keep backing this up, and I would suggest that you finger and say the notes several times going through with me, and then playing with, with me several times until you're ready to take this for a test. So let's take a second and review the new concepts that we've got on this page. At the top of the page in the green box, we had a new note on the first space of the staff, it was called A, it was fingered second position, just out from the sleeve, and it sounds like this. Play that A with me. Ready? Now. And also on this page, we had two natural slurs that we looked at. We learned that we could sl actually slur from G in fourth position down to E flat in third. Do that with me. Ready? Now. And we could slur our C and sixth to our B flat and first. Do that with me. Ready? Now. You want to keep practicing these over and over, getting those, getting used to those natural slurs, so when we have them, you recognize them. The rule is, if the note is going up and the slide is going out, we can slur. Or if the note is going down, and the slide is going up, we can slur. All other times we have to use a legato tongue.